Still no decision on a plan to hand over control of the L.A. Memorial Coliseum to USC. New at 5, the proposal is sparking controversy in the neighborhood, including a dispute with local museums over parking. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes takes a closer look at the proposed plan that some are calling a sweetheart deal for the private university. USC's victories at the Coliseum usually only last until the next game. But a Coliseum victory for the university in this room? Everybody is very passionate about this. Would last into the next century. The state considering a deal that would hand over control of the landmark Coliseum to USC for the next 98 years. It's good for the citizens of our county, surrounding counties. No one wants to see that facility across the street be the Coliseum of Rome and rotting. The deal would require USC to pay for maintenance costs and spend $70 million on renovations over the 98 years. But opponents say that would be less than the school's current deal, yet gives USC all the proceeds from all games and events, plus 95% of any money made by selling the naming rights to the Coliseum. It really concerns me that it seems to be a giveaway. If you're not getting rent from them and they're getting all the revenue from their events, then technically to me, they're getting state property free. Still others say the Coliseum deal will punish the California Science Center and its 2 million plus annual visitors. Science Center officials say the problem is that the deal will strip them of much of their parking. Take away the parking. You take away the availability, you kill off the ability of the children and the families to visit the great museums, the world-class museums that we built here. But USC officials say the proposed deal will bail out the Coliseum Commission, which is financially insolvent and unable to pay for renovations to the Coliseum agreed to in its current contract with the school. It will be contractually obligated to either spend $70 million to improve the Coliseum, or if it chooses not to do that, then it will lose, likely lose over $4 million annually. The fate of the USC Coliseum deal rests in the hands of the California Science Center board. It could vote when it meets again later this month. In Exposition Park, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News.